Ryan White starts on pole position with Theo Bradshaw alongside Ashley Haase and Ralphie Branscombe on row two. Bella Fairclough and Jensen Hookey on row number three. Alfie Forrester starts seventh. Archie Loveridge alongside Joshua Sullivan and Kevin Ivanoff on row number five. Then it's Sam Green Gomez and Ed Spain on row number six. Fenton Stoneman and Sam Hayes on row seven. Max Taddy starts 15th. Larry Price alongside William Howard and Cameron Tipping are on row number nine. Then it's Ronnie Legg and Ella Dixon, Freddie Housigo and George Ralston with Jensen White and Rio Wardley on row number 12. Samuel Yeadon starts 25th with Matthew Plant for company. Morgan Cooney and Lewis Gilbert are on row 14. Luke Jardine and Max Housigo are 29th and 30th respectively. Then it's Jacob Levenby, Otto Amy and Thomas Battershill completing your 33 Honda Cadet runners. Just awaiting them to make their way out onto the track. And we are going to uh, have a quick dip into our live chat comments. We've got uh, Nicholas Ellis saying good luck to Harvey Wagstaff and uh, Chetto saying poor Alice, that'd be uh, Alice Fairclough who was off in that one and ended up in retirement for that race. It's off into the tyres unfortunately and then managed to bring the cart round into pit lane. So uh, retirement in the first round for Fairclough. There are, is your front row on the left, it's Ryan White on the Project 1 with Theo Bradshaw on the zip car on the right hand side just waiting to be told that they are clear to enter the circuit for their 12 minute plus one lap final just trying to have a quick look out the window although I don't know why because I've got a screen in front of me although we are on around about half a second delay so I was just looking to get the advance warning that the Hondas were on their way out so track looked clear Sure we've got any recovery to be done and our Hondas should be making their way round in a few moments time 3.30 is their approximate start time so I'm going to have a look at the, uh, at the weather conditions once again to see whether we've got anything incoming and it's now saying that we're, whilst it is overcast there is no rain expected for the next hour and a half So they're making their way round and into position. That's your Honda Cadet grid then. You can see already here at, uh, at Warden Law. When I said it was overcast, I wasn't lying to you, ladies and gentlemen. It is, uh, it's a lot darker out there than what it was earlier, in particular because it was, uh, we had at least the uh, the sun was out. I've saw, seen a few people. We've even got a Martian out there in shorts. So he's either very, very brave. We've got our cameraman making the uh, jog down the start finish straight as well just to see our carts gridding up down there on track runners then making their way up into position Ryan White on pole with Gen uh, with Theo Bradshaw alongside There's your front row. White on the left, Bradshaw. Then it's, then it's, then it's Ashley Haase and Ralphie Branscombe with Fairclough. Just waiting for P5. Seem to have a gap in the uh, in the standings. I think that could be because Fairclough could be on the wrong side. That's going to allow Jensen Hooky to roll into position. So at least we're not missing anybody. We just had a driver on the wrong side of the grid. So Fairclough will be rolled back in. Forrester in P7 there on the left. Loveridge on the right. Then it's Sullivan and Ivanov to round out your top 10 as the final few runners in the background roll themselves into position and the parent helpers make their way off the track. Looks like Max Taddy's got a problem down there in the 66 car. Arms up in the air from Max Taddy, although now seems to have reheld the wheel again. Marshall coming over to help and Max Taddy pointing down at his car. Don't know if he's got a problem as to uh, what it is. I think we're just going to see if we've got a thing. I think the... Uh, lid on the petrol tank there might not have been on and I think Max Taddy was just alerting the marshal to that we'll see whether the cart is uh, 
okay to go. The 66 machine there lining up alongside Larry Price in the uh, 97 car. Looks like we could be good to go because the cameraman has been escorted off track. Keep an eye on the lights in the top right-hand corner. They've stopped flashing. They are a bit of a creep there from Ashley Haase, but he manages to get the brakes on. And we are away and racing here in our Honda Cadet. Haase managed to get to the inside. Ralphie Branscombe's going to sweep all the way around the outside as they head down towards the first corner here at Warden Law. Everybody slotting into position. Ryan White, you can see how cold the tyres are there as he goes left and almost understeers wide off the track for our pole sitter, but he manages to hold on. That's because there's no sunshine anymore. The track temperature dropping down. We've got a yellow flag down at Marshall Post 8. Not sure what that's for because uh, we've not got round there. And, oh, Alfie Forrester! Alfie Forrester hooked up on the back of the... Uh, it looks like that's Gomez Green in the uh, 76 machine. Green still remonstrating with Forrester as they make their way down the back straight towards the Gasworks hairpin for the first time. Sam Hayes forced wide by Fenton Stoneman into the left-hander. Stoneman, arm up off the wheel. Not sure whether that was in uh, apology or not, but we'll, they'll keep going anyway because they're all facing in the right direction. Over the line for the first time in this 12 plus 1 final, it's White from Haase, then Bradshaw, Fairclough, Branscombe, Sullivan, Loveridge, Ivanov, Hooky, Stoneman, Hayes, Spain, Taddy, Howard and Larry Price rounding out your top 15 in front of Cameron Tipping, Alfie Forrester, Green Gomez, then it's going to be Leg and Gilbert. That's your top 20. Sullivan, very, very wide there as we cut back to the camera. Now going to have to defend off Archie Loveridge as he ran wide at St. John's. Loveridge going to try and use the momentum now to get a run. More contact there from Alfie Forrester. Looked like down the inside this time of Cameron Tipping as they go into the centre one hairpin. Run then down the back straight. Ralphie Branscombe sends the move down the inside of Bella Fairclough. Fairclough has to relent. And that allows Branscombe to move up a place into what will now be P4 for Ralphie Branscombe. Ryan White leading the way from Ashley Haase. Has a gap of four tenths on the previous lap. As Haase managed to close in, he has ever so slightly. Fastest lap from Ralphie Branscombe in P4. Then it's Fairclough, Sullivan, Loveridge. Then there's a gap back of half a second to Ivanov. Ryan White leading the way, but Ashley Haase closing in with Theo Bradshaw helping them along. Ralphie Branscombe, chunk of curb on the inside. Bounces the 96 machine up and over the top as they make their way down towards centre one. In the background, saw Kevin Ivanov closing in on the back of Archie Loveridge for seventh place. Branscombe once again with a chunk of curb down the inside. And this time it's Theo Bradshaw's turn to try and show a nose down the inside of Ashley Haase. Branscombe's not hanging about here. He's down the inside of Theo Bradshaw up into what is now third place. Bradshaw in four in front of Fairclough. Let's see how long... Uh, Branscombe sticks around behind Ashley Haase because he's got some good pace here as they head on to the start-finish straight. Fastest lap from Ralphie Branscombe, 59, 174, and then he slides wide round the first, round at turn one. And took another chunk of curb. It's where he gets the good run out of the back chicane towards the Gasworks hairpin. He needs to be closer to... Ashley Haase this time and they may even well have to defend as well from Theo Bradshaw. Haase though takes a chunk of curb. This is where Branscombe's been strong. Through this back chicane, can he get the exit this time to close up on Haase? Not sure that he can. Don't think he's going to be close enough. May even have to defend off Theo Bradshaw into the right hand of Fairclough as well. Sliding through. That's your top five. Split by a second with Ryan White leading the way from Ashley Haase and Ralphie Branscombe. Into the slipstream they go. Haase closer this time, under two tenths of a second with Ralphie Branscombe helping him along. Theo Bradshaw, fastest lap of the race. 58.662 for Theo Bradshaw in fourth place in the slipstream. Now the top five nose to tail. Before there's a gap back, Branscombe has a look down the inside of Haase, forces his way through. That's going to allow Bradshaw through as well. It's going to allow Fairclough. Haase is going to drop down into fifth place here, having been moved out of the way by Ralphie Branscombe. And then Bradshaw and Fairclough come through as well. Branscombe now 
onto the back of Ryan White immediately. Closes in. White with the head tap, wants Branscombe to help him. Branscombe, absolutely no credence to that whatsoever. Straight down the inside of Ryan White and Ralphie Branscombe leads with seven plus one to go. The top seven all knows the tail. Small gap back then to Kevin Ivanov. He's got half a tenth of a second to, clo to go as well. There's your top seven carts, all split by 1.3 seconds. Fastest lap from Archie Loveridge benefiting from the toe of all of those in front of him as they make their way down towards the dog leg. Ryan White is wide, Fairclough trying to put a nose down the inside. At the, in front though, Ralphie Branscombe is just gonna drive off into the distance if they keep battling out over second place. White, Fairclough, Bradshaw and Haase are your top five. Ralphie Branscombe has a gap of three tenths of a second as they head out towards the back straight, back straight chicane once again. As they come towards half race distance, then there's that one lap as well to add at the end. Max Taddy yeah, from 12th place is showing as being in the pit lane as the problem that he had on the start line reoccurred once again for Max Taddy. He is off into the pit lane, had a difficult weekend anyway because he didn't qualify well at the back because he had an issue with the chain coming off. Then in heat number one, he had a problem because he was involved in an incident that wasn't his fault. Out at the front, Ralphie Branscombe opening up the gap to the leaders by three tenths of a second. They're coming up to some lap traffic though in front. It's all about management and there's a spin by the lap traffic, so that's gone completely. They have all managed to make their way through. Ralphie Branscombe continuing to lead from Ryan White, Bella Fairclough, Fairclough forced wide, and Fairclough is gonna be hung out to dry here, not only by Theo Bradshaw, but also by Ashley Haase as well, as they head out onto the back straight. Sullivan in the slipstream of the five, as they head down towards the Gasworks hairpin. Loveridge close enough as well, Kevin Ivanov right on the back, the top eight, split by 2.3 seconds, but the leader, Ralphie Branscombe, has got six tenths of a second on the entire field here, at the moment, here at Warden Law. Branscombe from White, the gap down slightly from Bradshaw, then it's Haase and Fairclough, that's your top five. Fairclough being shuffled back from third place on the previous lap, ran slightly wide into centre two. Yellow flag looked to be out there at the post, although it's back in now, so that's going to give them an opportunity to race and overtake. Ralphie Branscombe had the early race pace, still got to hold on for another four and a half minutes plus one lap here in the cadet kart championship they may well encounter some lap traffic as well further in front of them so they've still got to find the way through nice and cleanly as they head down towards gasworks theo bradshaw on the back of ryan white six tenths of a second is the lead gap on the previous lap let's keep an eye on whether it's coming down or not between branscombe and ryan white as Sullivan goes in too tight into the first corner. Loveridge telling him to push on. Sullivan went too tight into that corner, then ran very, very wide, slowed himself down. That's going to have lost him around about half a second off those in front of him. Bella Fairclough with the fastest lap of the race, a 58.254, as Ralphie Branscombe has a look over the shoulder. Seven tenths of a second, almost eight, is the gap back to Ryan White and Theo Bradshaw. You can see the change in the gap between them, the lap where... Branscombe opened up that huge gap to Ryan White, was the gap where Ryan White was having to defend off Theo Bradshaw, Ashley Haase and Bella Fairclough as well. Fairclough though with the fastest lap of the race on that previous lap with a 58-2. Lots of personal bests coming in all throughout the order. Now Kevin Ivanov down the inside of Archie Loveridge. Loveridge is going to have to sweep wide to try and go round the outside. Has to relent and Kevin Ivanov is through and up into what will now be seventh place, right on the back of the 13, moves out the slipstream as they make their run down towards that first corner. Ralphie Branscombe continuing to lead, but Ryan White in second place, setting the fastest lap of the race from Theo Bradshaw and Ashley Haase. That is your top four, Fairclough right on the back as well in P number five. Ralphie Branscombe looks like he's being reeled in here. Looks like he had the early race pace, had the tyres set to go early. 
And Sullivan goes very, very wide. That's going to open the door up for Ivanov to come back down the inside. Ivanov can't find a way through. Can catch that in the background there. Now Theo Bradshaw bouncing over the curves. Ryan White, Ralphie Branscombe. This is your battle for the lead. The top three seem to have broken away ever so slightly from Ashley Harze and Bella Fairclough. Into the right-hander at Paddock Bend. Two minutes to go. Lap traffic in front. The top five now with a clear gap of 1.5 seconds or so from those behind. The gap is out to even more. It's over 2.2 seconds on the previous lap between your top five and the rest of the field behind. Theo Bradshaw with the fastest lap out and in third place on Ryan White. Ryan White with a good run now on Ralphie Branscombe. Ryan White is down the inside. Theo Bradshaw as well is going to try and get the switch back on Ralphie Branscombe. They're going to back themselves up into Ashley Harze and Bella Fairclough at this rate as your race leader, Ryan White, encounters some traffic as they go into the back chicane. Thomas Battershill in the eight. Is the lap traffic as they make their way down the inside. Ashley Harze gets down the inside of Theo Bradshaw. Bradshaw's not giving this one up and the door is closed by Ashley Harze. Bella Fairclough into the back as well as they make their way through. The three zip carts, Lina Stern, Bradshaw down the inside of Harze. Fairclough could take advantage as well. She's going to cross the line, I think, here in fourth place. She is. Ivanov in the background has managed to find a way past Sullivan. They're still nose to tail, but now Ivanov up into sixth place. Theo Bradshaw, Bella Fairclough, Ashley Harze, three, four, three, four and five. In front of them, Ryan White, Ralphie Branscombe. The gap half a second, White now coming back at Ralphie Branscombe, finding a way through and starting to move away. Ivanov, Sullivan and Archie Loveridge as they make their way into centre one and centre two. Back to the leading two and then three behind as they make their way down the back straight here towards the right-hander at Gasworks. 21 seconds remaining. Our leader making their way round the horseshoe. They will, I believe, get round to make this two more laps of racing here at Warden Law. Leader is over the line now. Eight seconds to go. Two laps in Honda Cadet. And Ralphie Branscombe has once again closed right in on the back of Ryan White. The gap one and a half seconds and White slides wide. And Branscombe is going to come down the inside into the right-hander just before the dog leg. White up and over the curb. White again smacks the curb on the outside side on. Ralphie Branscombe retakes the lead. In the background, we've got Bradshaw, Fairclough, Harze. All nose to tail, still for third, fourth, fifth place, respectively. Ralphie Branscombe leads this race by around about half a second, having got down the inside of Ryan White as White slid wide around the first corner. Now it's Harze's turn to go down the inside of Bella Fairclough. Great move from Ashley Harze into the right-hander. It has opened up the gap, though. Bradshaw has closed back in, I think, on Ryan White for second place. Last lap board is out on the overhead gantry. Three second penalty for the 96th of Ralphie Branscombe. He's got to open this gap up. Three tenths of a second, but Ralphie Branscombe at the moment is going to incur a three second penalty. Ryan White in second place. This is effectively now a battle for the lead between Ryan White and Theo Bradshaw as they head towards the left hander of St. John's. Bradshaw nudging to the back of Ryan White. White trying to help along. Bradshaw down the inside, he goes on Ryan White. Ryan White's going to try and get back, gets the cut back into the final chicane. If they battle, they could open up a gap here for Ralphie Branscombe of that three seconds that he needs. Four carts battling it out for second place here. This contact between Bradshaw and Ryan White. Harze's coming down the inside as well. White's going to get hung out to dry on the outside. Holds on, I think, for fourth place here. Branscombe, what's the gap going to be for our race leader? Out of the final corner. Comes Ralphie Branscombe. White's down the inside. This contact with Harze. Branscombe, on track at least, takes victory from Theo Bradshaw. 1.3 seconds. Ashley Harze, Ryan White, Bella Fairclough, Kevin Ivanoff, Joshua Sullivan, Archie Loveridge, Jensen Hockey, and Fenton Stoneman. Theo Bradshaw will inherit the victory here at Warden Law with Ralphie Branscombe incurring a three second penalty shown on the overhead gantry during that race. Branscombe taking victory on track at least as the rest of the field make their way into Park Ferme.
Bradshaw, very happy with second, but I think that's because he knows he's seen on the overhead gantry that he is going to be promoted into the race victory here. Ralphie Branscombe still sat in his car with the disappointment. There's your top four carts with Theo Bradshaw and Ashley Harze. Bradshaw very happy. That's Harze's dad on the right-hand side. Bradshaw's mum on the left congratulating each other as the field roll into Parc Ferme.